This is the outside of the 2021 Eldis Majestic 196. As we move along, we will firstly come to the battery locker. Here we have the leisure battery and the mains hookup point. Next we have the location of the cassette toilet. To remove the cassette, lift up on the lever and pull towards you. Before use, remove the cap and add your toilet chemical. This is also where the cassette empties from as well. Just remember that when you are emptying it to hold this button down just here to release the vacuum inside. It is also advisable to keep these seals well lubricated. Fetford, you basically make their own silicon spray, but any silicon based lubricant is fine. This is also a nice quick and easy way of giving the cassette a good clean. If you do need to gain full access inside, this whole part here can be removed. You'll see at the moment that the arrow is pointing here to the locked position. Twist this whole section to here and then it can be removed. These cassettes now are all on wheels with extendable handles. Next we have water into the motorhome, so pop a hose pipe in here to fill up the fresh water tank. As you can see it can also be locked and then beneath this we have the grey water drain, so anything that goes down your plug holes goes into the holding tank and then is drained off at this point here. And we then have the fresh water tank drain next to it. The flue for the space heater just sits here. We do not need to do anything with this, just make sure that nothing obstructs it. And then we have the external shower point just here. If we now remove the dust cover by pushing the outer blue part towards the motor home. This will then remove itself. We then take the external shower hose and plug it in. It will then lock into place and as long as the water pump is on inside this will then go under pressure. Removes in exactly the same way as the dust cover. Just push in and it will then pop back out again and then replace the cover again. As we come round to the rear we have the rear view camera up here and this particular motorhome has been fitted with a Fiamma bike rack to use just pull and drop the bars down. Bikes on the rails, these through the wheels to secure and then attach an arm to each of the frames of the bikes. As we now come round to the other side we have the gas locker. So we have plenty of room in here for two gas bottles. The regulator just sits here and then the propane hose comes off the regulator and then screws into the propane bottle and is tightened with a gas spanner. Bottle on and off on the top. Do make sure the bottle is isolated for travel. 
Beside that we have the external barbecue point. At the moment the barbecue adapter is still attached with a cable tie so remove and then attach this rib section here to the hose of the barbecue securing it with a jubilee clip. When you want to use it this end here plugs in where my finger is and it will lock into position this will then allow you to turn the gas on to remove it just push the collar towards the motorhome and it will then release the flue for the boiler just here and exactly the same as for the space heater you do not need to do anything with it just make sure that nothing is obstructing it the spare wheel just sits back here it winds down where my finger is just here in the jack and wheel brace kit there is a bar that locates into that hole and then you attach the brace to it to wind it down next we have both vents for the Dometic fridge this is a fully winterized motorhome so it is supplied with winter covers for the fridge so we have this shorter one here for the top vent in the colder months just pop it on like so and then the fridge will just vent from the bottom of each one thus holding in some heat and running more efficiently do make sure that these are off in the warmer months or otherwise the fridge will just overheat and again will not run correctly as we move back closer to the front again we have access underneath the bench seat and we then have the Dometic rollout canopy to roll this out we need the winding handle this end here just locates up here and once into position we can then begin winding it out only wind it out a short distance first and then drop the legs for stability so as you can now see I've wound the canopy out a short distance we now want to drop the legs to give it some support before we wind it out fully the legs on these are sprung loaded so just pushing in the corner here and it will then fold out like so we can then slide it across and then we can then drop the leg like so you'll see that this bit here clips and locks into position once we've done that you can now see that the leg is currently not touching the ground all we need to do is just slide this part out of the way here lift up on this lever here and we can then drop the leg all the way to the ground and then we do exactly the same thing with the second leg And then exactly the same again just take out this lever here and then drop the leg to the ground and then once you're taking the support we can then wind the canopy fully out if we want to this particular canopy is very large so if you do have it out fully it does come with a rafter pole the rafter pole is just located here and one end of it locates just here and then the other end would locate just up there and this just makes the canopy a little bit more rigid next we have 
diesel fill just here, cap unlocks on the ignition key, add blue, top up at the bottom, it will let you know on the dashboard when our blue needs topping up. Tire pressures on the door pillar just here. Both the driver and passenger seats are heated just here. Jack and wheel brace. Vehicle battery is located underneath the floor and bonnet release is just here. The motorhome is alarmed. It's a very simple process if I now lock it and then unlock. It's then armed and disarmed. There is a sensor on the door as well.